Hello and welcome, my name is Alicia and this is Project Vegan, where we bake vegan treats. So let's get baking. Today we're going to be baking or finishing off a birthday cake for my mum. I just started making a chocolate gateau cake and I showed you the cake mixture or cake bases as I was cooking them. So now we're going to do the toppings, the cream and hopefully cutting the cakes, but I always have such difficulty cutting the cakes. So it may just be two layers rather than four. But if we can, we're going for four layers. So, yeah, let's get straight into that. Um, I'm going to start by making a syrup because it needs to cool down completely. And it has to boil for five minutes. So, let's start on that syrup. I swear, people always start making noises right when I want to film. There's a weed whacker in the background, but it's all right. We're going to put 200 mils of water and 75 grams of sugar. Boil it. We'll get it up to boiling. Boil it for five minutes. Then once it's finished boiling, we add in some, you're supposed to add kirsch, but kirsch is really expensive and I don't have it. So we're going to be using fridges instead. Also, my boyfriend and me also kind of don't particularly like alcohol, so we're not going to put alcohol in it. We're just going to do it with juice instead. So we're going to start on that. Around about 200 mils of water. It would probably help if you turn the element on, Alicia. Put that on high. And 75 grams is roughly a quarter and an eighth of a cup. So we're going to go with that. That's about 75 grams. Now we wait for it to boil. And once it gets to boiling, you boil for five minutes. I just double checked the recipe because I wasn't sure. Seems I've made an error. It's 175 grams um, sugar, which kind of makes sense. So we're going to add another half a cup because that makes it 175. Oopsies! Alrighty, so my first cake is over here. That was an absolute mission. We learned a couple things which might make the second one easier, but I doubt it. So, we're gonna try and do this one too. Um, having them frozen helps, but it also doesn't help. Like, oh. Okay, still that way. Um, this is well, the nicer one of the two cakes, so I shouldn't, it's like, when I say nice, I mean nicer shape, so. Um, it did better than last time. I don't think it'll quite come off. Okay. okay. This is significantly better than my other one, even though these are still ridiculously uneven. But that's fine. Right? At least it's not falling apart. I think this cake's cooked more than the other one. But. Nonetheless, I have all my pieces. So it's time to make the um, cream part up and then we're gonna assemble. I've got here mm, a tin of whipping coconut cream, which I'm gonna add all of because I need 750 grams of coconut cream. With this tin here, because I know it whips so well, I'm not going to add the liquid because I only have one can of the cream that whips really well. So I'm going to be adding some of my uh, some other coconut cream that we have that doesn't whip so good. Because it's not quite as firm. So yes, that is my plan of action. And then this is a litre, so we only want what 250 mils ish? One. That should do me. Alright. I'm going to whip this up with 75 grams of sugar. This is where the 75 grams of sugar comes in. And 75 grams is approximately one quarter of a cup and an eighth of a cup. Alrighty, my cream mixture is all done and whipped up. 
So that's what it looks like. It's got a very, very slight purple tinge. I don't know if you can tell, but now we're going to put everything together. You're also gonna need some raspberry jam. Um, I forgot chocolate, so I'm gonna run downstairs and see if I have any, I think I do. And I'm going to quickly make some chocolate shavings before we put this together. So I'm gonna chuck it in the fridge for like five minutes just while I shave some chocolate. All right, so I found some of my own chocolate that I bought for me. I mean, I'm gonna use this, but I don't think it's gonna be enough to go around the whole cake. So we'll see how much it turns out to be. Oh, this isn't going how I want it to. to. It was the peeler. This is so not the weather to be holding chocolate in your hands like this. I'll be back when I'm done. Into the fridge these go. Not entirely sure how this is gonna work yet, but we're gonna make it work. So I'm gonna start with some of the syrup that we made up earlier and brush that on. There we go. Now to that, wait till it doesn't form. I'm going to add in some raspberry jam. Spread that on top. And then pour the cream. Try and do a decent amount of that on there as well. And then we stick the next layer on. Um, I'm gonna go for one of the really damaged ones. We gotta fix them up a little bit. Right. Then we do the same with this one. Syrup. I have so much of this, so I'm not going like easy with it. And then another tablespoon of jam. And for the cream. Ah, uh, this one's also temperamental. Couldn't have gone any worse, okay. If I thought that other layer was bad, oh, this one is worse. I'm getting a little fed up with this, so I'll show you the final product. All right, I finished. She looks beautiful on the outside, a little bit at least, but she's one ugly mess in the middle. So I'm actually kind of proud that I tended, managed to turn around this much, but. This is my mom's birthday cake and we will be enjoying it later tonight but I can already tell you that the moist cakes, although difficult to work with, taste really good so I'm excited for this one. But yeah, that's all I have for you today. I'm going to put this in the fridge and we'll finish up. I just wanted to say thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. I hope you consider liking, subscribing and commenting anything, something down below, letting me know your favourite colour or all your favourite seasonal fruit because I wasn't sure whether to do raspberries, strawberries or cherries I wasn't really sure so I just picked the cheapest one at the moment which was strawberries um and then I saw can or jarred cherries and I was like oh I could have got those but never mind all sorted <laughs> um yeah that's all I have for you today I hope you too have learned how to make a gateau cake in the top up there I will link another cake decorating video I'll actually link the playlist there's I think it's three in there maybe four um I know this isn't really cake decorating because it was a black forest gateau or a strawberry gateau, but still, I think it counts and I'm going to link that up there. Um, yeah, I will see you all in the next baking video. Until then, peace out.